Hi, I'm Holly with Bentley Systems, and in this video, I'll show you how to create the parcels shown here with the Geometry Builder using existing bearings and distances. So the tools located under the Open Roads Modeling Workflow, Geometry, Horizontal, right here, Geometry Builder. It pops up. I'll click this to create new geometry. I want to give it a new feature definition. I'll just go under Linear site site pad and we can give it a new name I'll just call it lot one and then right here is where you can type in the beginning point you can graphically select it right here I'm gonna go into the 3d and just pick a point here so now that the points pick you can start graphically adding data or you can type it in I have the data to type in, and so I'll show how to do that. You can make sure your everything is correct with how, how your data is set up. For example, mine is just the degrees and minutes, so everything is there. And I'll start typing in the data. Now that everything's typed in, I can move this over to the side and you can see it preview here, even though it's not in the DGN yet, I haven't placed it. You can see my closure, I still have about 1.7 feet for closure right here. And I can do different options if I want it to close to the beginning point and I want it to add a line, it'll add this line for closure if I want. and before we place it, we can also select what type of locks we want. So we want to create a civil element that's ruled complex, a non-tangent complex civil element that's ruled. So everything looks good, and I will go ahead and place it into the DGN. Now that it's placed, if I want to save it, I can just click this right here and save it off in whatever location you want as lot one just to save for future and I'll hit close. Now you can select it and see that it's a complex civil element. It has the rules and you can come in here and change the rules just like you would any other civil element.